Hello guys, so today we are gonna explore the menu of the Apex Maker X1 and it's really full of new features. So first thing you have like four panels and the really cool feature, my favorite is like, it's the touch screen is really, really working fast. Oops. Uh, so first menu is like the storage. So you have your USB key it's delivered with 32, 32 gigas space, so plenty space. Uh, second one is built-in storage. I guess it's all of the local file and all of the data files you have inside. And you see that the USB key is 32 Gs and internal storage is 3 G. So I'm not sure you can switch files from your USB key to the printer but I guess it's possible also like the cloud storage I did not really use it now and not yet set everything but it's existing my favorite by far setting is power outage it's the first printer that restart after a power outage I did a video that I will post a bit later, but it works and it's so, so, so a revolution for me, printing like a lot. Uh, so second panel is the manual control equipment, blah, blah, blah. It's all of the main feature you will use, I guess. So manual control is also super smart because you can just slide the Z up and down. So going to zero or oh, 410, you can set the scale you want to move. So you can just put 50 and it will move 50 by 50. And if you stop and it did not reach, he calculate alone where it is. And this is to move the plate all the way to the Z, so on the top, and this is when you need to relevel your plate. I just did, just to show you how to do, and uh, it will be um, maybe in this video or maybe in another video, I don't know yet. Uh, equipment test, so in here, you can switch almost absolutely everything, and uh, as it's like super hot, I'm leaving the fans turning, but it's really, really cool. You can decide and, and set everything, and there is another menu to go even deeper that we'll show right after. Uh, exposure test is like so cool when you need to clean your vat. I also did a video to show you very quickly how to do, but you can just select the exposure you want so logo or the grid or any picture you can even add your own picture on the usb key and just load in here so it's really really smart and here is also like the time you want to uh, turn on the exposure two reasons the first one is to clean the vat uh, using this one and the second one is to test your screen but to clean the vat i really recommend to just use five seconds no more you don't need more it's really strong uh uv array so really you don't need more even 30 seconds to to check if the screen is correct it's more than enough uh no we were here resin eating this is also something incredible i never saw in any other printer it's now super hot in France, so we absolutely don't need it. But this winter, I was like turning on the uh, the heating in the room and blah, 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 just to be sure that my room will be between 25 and 27, or at least 22 when it's really, really cold outside. And now I don't need, I just need to close the, expo the, the enclosure and just turn on the resin heating. And you can also choose the temperature you want to use so this is really 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 smart and when you start to print it's also ask you to be sure that 
the, the, um, the vat is not at the temperature you select here and confirm it that you want to print. So every steps are like really, really smartly done. This is the automatic feeding. So here it will automatically pump in your bottle until it reach the, the right level. So that's why I'm turning it off because I'm not printing. I'm printing big parts, but hollow. So I don't need to have the vat absolutely full always. So, but when I, I know that I will print something really big, needing a lot of resin, of course I will turn it on. And this is to manually feed or reclaim all of the resin out of the vat. Uh, next one, no, yes, this one. Okay, so you can of course select your language. Of course you can, oops, of course you can um, turn on the Wi-Fi, but it needs an external USB Wi-Fi module. So I don't have, and so I'm not using the, the wireless for now. So system settings, you can also modify everything. All of the beeps are now here, uh, I guess. You can change the frequency the volume, uh, turn it on, turn it off. This is like general settings, machine parameters. Uh, this is really important when you are using different resin. I just relevel my plate, so it's back at the uh, factory value, so 410. But for example, to use the frozen uh, aqua gray 4K resin, I had to change the lift of the maximum height. I was 410.10 .10 to be sure that I was perfectly on the, on the inside of that, on the film. And this is how I had the best result. But you can, in here, you can just check absolutely anything. It's like, insane and there are already some settings that i really don't want to mess up <laughs> like the the power of the of the movement the speed of the of the fans the speed of the lift the distance of the lift this is also uh, i guess it's here when the print is done you can decide to the action it will do after it's done so just also with pause. You can just decide that the, when you do a pause, the plate will lift for about 70 millimeters. So, and also the, the speed it will lift. The, this is like the printer I saw and I had with the most feature you can change. Uh, file sharing, I guess you can also, yeah, this is where you can switch your data from the USB key to here and have it in like internal storage like i don't know a print that something you really need to keep in the printer you can just switch from here and i guess it needs to set up the username password blah 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 and then you can just switch from one to the other one last one uh, is mostly informations yes but this is really important is oh, you see that i do not turn off <laughs> my printer when i'm not printing but there are some here absolutely here you see like my screen is like nine hour and 30 and also my light source is also nine hour and 30 minutes using so you can easily know now how long your screen lasts and prove that when you have to replay the screen, it's mainly a user issue. Uh, also, this is so cool because this is a print history. This is everything I printed. So you see that those are the first model. This is like all of my exposure tests when I started to use another resin, the frozen resin. And uh, those are like prints 
and those are cancelled because I did today the power outage print so this is why I cancelled everything but yeah you can also reprint what you want I guess if the file is not inside the USB key it won't work but I'm not sure and you can also delete any line of the history uh, this is also pretty useful because there is like a contact phone number email all of the social media are here yes uh, error log it's like exporting but I'm not using it and data cleaning I won't click on it so yeah you saw that it's really 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 complete and that the LCD screen is really sensitive and working really fine so I'm pretty sure you guys will use all of the menu maybe more than I do because I just need to produce 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 for my business but yeah anyway it's really smart and you will find any settings you want to change will be inside so I hope it was helpful for you to turn around the, all of the features and all of the menu and uh, and yeah feel free to ask anything in the comments if you see that I was not clear on any point. Thank you. Bye. Ciao.